Fire the missile. Get get him. Get him. Oh! All right, everybody. Baron here, and welcome back to Bomber Crew. You guys were asking to see Bomber Crew a lot lately, and you know what? I was waiting for this. That I uh, there were some rumors that they were working on something special, so I held off. All right, but. Bomber Crew's back with the new DLC, Secret Weapons. We've got some seasonally themed things as far as like winter goes. And I'll, I'll show you what we're talking about here. And then we're going to get into... Actually, you know what? Let, let me just show you the meat and the potatoes, alright? So check this out. We've got these missions, the main campaign we've been working on. And I was wondering, well, how are these DLC missions going to fit into it? Oh, first... Oh god, I think these are the new guys. Franz and Fritz Blitzer! Donna Keel in uh, uh, Donna Keel you the alliteration is going away well I guess Merrick Yeager I guess some anyway but the campaign map check this out we've got secret weapons right so do we want to do the Dusseldorf fighter production yeah let's jump into the action it's been a while right -o, to kick off big week so big week was a time during uh, 1944 I need to read up on it but I think that was when there may have been a lot of activity. Right here, to kick off big week, you'll be making the first strike against the enemy's fighter production. We've got when they're cocking up some experimental aircraft. So time is of the essence. Guys, woo, I'm excited. I think we've got some German UFOs in the mix. Now you'll see I have a bucket load of cash, but before we do that, I wanted to do something, something sneaky breaky. Look at this, we can get 20 millimeter cannons. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna go to my ventral turret, which hasn't been upgraded, and I'm gonna add these cannons, right? Because it's the new thing. Ooh, we can't do it because of the weight, however. I've got a ton of cash, and I think I'm gonna have to buy some engines real quick. Ooh, what is this? Missiles? Experimental air-to-air -air homing missiles? Yeah, we're gonna need engines for this too. This is, this is fantastic. So we just get two. Oh, there's only one type. Oh my God, oh my God. I don't know how to use these, but I want them. We have freaking missiles. Look at this. We've got air transport campaign, uh, command as a new one. We've got assembly ship. That one just looks like a circus. Took a poop on it. <laughs> we got a uh, misty cam, mm, done. Done, done, done. But we've also got some seasonal ones. Now that was previous, but now we've got festive and gift wrapped. Now when it comes closer to Christmas, you know, we, we're gonna do that. But if you guys want to see more bomber crew, you know what to do, boyos. I'm gonna keep it as American roundels, basically those round insignias there. We're an American after all. We're the American mercenaries here fighting for our friends across the pond in the United Kingdom of Britannica. Dusseldorf fighter production, jawohl, Herr Kloin. We are cooking up, oh wait, that's, yeah, that's who, we're fighting the Germans. My accents are fantastic, all right? Oh my gosh, it's been, it's been a hot minute. So we gotta destroy a factory. Oh, I got that silly hat. I haven't looked at the other stuff. We gotta remember to fix that, but look at this paint. And we've got the bouncing toast, but we need a new name in honor for this new DLC. What? Should we name the aircraft? You can see that we've got Baron Von Toasty as the captain. Liren, one of the big commenters and one of Baron's brigadiers who was very helpful. We got our boy Dragas. We've got Cyan, another uh, Baron's brigadier. Mr. McCappy Shooter Face as the uh, rear gunner. We've got C Top and we've got Blitz. Some of my buddies. But let me know if we should rename some stuff. You guys know what to do. This is this is one of the more fun series in f as far as like community interaction. Okay, look at my two missiles. Ba ding. Beautiful. So this is the first mission we've flown in, oh, it's got to be at least three weeks, two, three weeks, maybe a month, maybe even a whole month. We're going to get Blutes. My boy Blutes. What's this? Oh my. Open the doors. Good photo. I'm not taking a photo. Oh shoot. Oh no. We just failed a mission because I'm a noob. And we've got Dornier 335s. They've got a propeller on both sides of the aircraft, which makes them one of the fastest aircraft of the war. I think it's time to abort. Look at him. He just flew right at it. Look at that thing. It's such a cool looking aircraft. All right, so we're, we've, we've encountered our first 
German UFOs. Ammo belt's all used up. Go ahead and head back and get some more. Oh, this guy's cold. Cyan is cold. I'm not going home empty-handed. I guess I'm going home empty-handed. Oh, there's one! There he is! Big boy, trying to dodge us. Liren, shoot those 20 mils at him. All right, we've got enemies on the radar. I'm gonna see what this homing missile is all about. It's called a, an experimental homing missile. So the, it's, look at this. Spitfire is reporting it, I'm gonna... Where are you going? Missile away! What? Okay, we lost them. I think our Spitfires are scaring them away. All right, we're coming in for a landing after a failed botched attempt to destroy some experimental uh, and a factory that's building experimental German UFOs. We saw the twin engine. I'm telling there's a propeller at the front of the plane in the back. So there's one here and there's one here on a, on a smaller fighter aircraft. Like how freaking cool is that? Can you imagine the first time you'd see one of those? Yay, we failed. However, we did upgrade our crew members here. I'm pretty sure these guys skill will go up to level five. <laughs> Yeah, oh god, I just trolled myself. And look at that! There we go, we've got a beautiful snowing airfield. This is, these are the kind of updates I love. Wouldn't it be cool though to be like, I wonder if there, it'd be cool if there's like a little easter egg where like Santa's sleigh just lands. You're like, what the heck? Like this is, a, this is a military airfield. Where did the Santa come from? Anyway, I think it would be cool. Okay, so I want to see if I have to buy any more missiles. Missiles. Let's go to gun turrets here. Missiles... No, I guess we still have two. Time to head on back out there. So, let's do it. Alright, look at this beautiful snowy day. We're gonna head over the channel. And once we're out there, we're gonna slow it. It can get rather chilly in those snowstorms. Better wrap up, chaps. Fire missile! Missile away! Where does it go? Ah! I, I messed up. Oh, there's a U-boat. We Our gunners were so good, we couldn't even use the missile. Oh my god, there's multiple U-boats out there, and they're almost like little mini flak installations, but I bet... Oh yeah, they definitely want to die. Yeah, they die once I get close, because I am very dangerous to them. I gotta remember to reload out of combat so that we're ready and we're more optimized for combat. I don't want to use a missile just yet. I want to use it against those Dorney A335s, those twin engine baddies. All right, let's try to focus here. Oh, 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 hold up. We've got to focus on the objective. There is, mm, no, we gotta, we're gonna hit this first. It's right here. We gotta see what the Jerry's are up to over here. And that means, Liren, you need to, you're gonna be, Get up there. You've got the fastest legs. I need you to get ready to take a photograph there, sir. Look at that. They're they're guarded by a couple auto cannons. So those are probably 20 millimeter flak guns. Perfect. Now we're gonna head over here. We're gonna open the bomb bay doors. Oh yikes. You need to auto tag right now. What's this? Oh god. Uh we've gotta get Liren, 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 Liren. Uh we're gonna open the doors. I'm gonna drop everything so we're maybe a little bit lighter. Open doors. Now I gotta wait not to mess up. Look at this, man. I just love the snowy landscape. The weather changes are very nice. Touch and drop on the experimental bombing factories. Now we'll close the doors and Liren, you've gotta repair this. I don't know what's going on over there and you, you, and we'll just do a, a, a nice batch of getting everything done. The enemy scrambling fighters from Crefield Airfield. Where is that? Crefel, Crefel Airfield. And there, is that a Dornier? Oh look, they're launching them. They're, they're launching the fighters right below us. Fire the missile. Get them boys. Boom. We're all there it is. You can see it. The twin engine beauty. That guy took a missile to the face and he's fine. This is a heavy fighter. Look at that. Goo, 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 goo. It's just so pretty. In incredibly dangerous. All right, now we've got to check in on the crew because I've been just. Oh, we got a we got an engine fire. Uh, Liren. We've got to we got to put this out, son. Man, I, it's I'm so rusty. Now put that fire out. How are we doing, boys? Focus incendiary. Focus. All right, we put that out. Liren, how are we doing? How are we doing, old chap? I think we've got enemy fighters all over us. That I yeah, that's the issue. Just let me, let me grab you here. 
I'm not good at this. We need to go to our... Whoa! I'm gonna call it in Spitfires. I don't know what just hit us, but it was bad. Oh my god, I I've lost hydraulics. The hydraulic systems failed. We're repairing it. That's why our guns are inactive. And we're getting just sh shredded. Oh my god, oh, we lost it! This is bad. Spitfire's reporting in. Well, where have you been, boyos? I need some help in a half. Did we auto-tag? Have we not auto-tagged these guys? What? What is going on? No. It's just the Dorniers are just beasts. That's another... Yeah, twin-engine Dornier 335. We got the Spitfires here. I think they're just very heavily armed and armored. Finally. Goodness. We're going to auto-tag again just because I'm paranoid right now. Enemy fighter's been destroyed. I haven't even checked the fuel. I am rusty. This is what a rusty captain looks like. All right, and Von Toasty, you can't... We're gonna need you, because <laughs> there's me, you know? And uh, let's check the fuel gauges real quick. All right, we're, we're pretty good on fuel. That was a relatively short flight. We've got our friends in the Spitfires. Whoo, man. Oh, hold up. This would be bad if I didn't lower my gear and we tried to land <laughs> and our whole plane would go up in smoke and carnage. But we uh, hopefully managed to get it back home for gingerbread and tea. Although I personally, being the American guy, would be like, where's my, where's my steak, potatoes, and coffee with some whiskey? I mean, because, you know, we got we to gotta play to the stereotypes. If them, if them guys across the pond... Those gentlemen, I just spit all over my monitor, <laughs> are drinking tea. I gotta drink coffee, you know? We gotta play to the stereotypes. It's cute. It's funny. All right, the Dusseldorf fighter production has been kaput. And we got the return to base. We got no slow time. We got optional recon. Look at this. This is where you get that cash money monies. You gotta get those optional recon photos. Oh, and somebody was saying that if you also see the photo you'll get a little boost and i need to test that to confirm it but you can get a little bit extra if you also drop some ordnance some heavy ordnance some uh, care packages on top of the targets not only photograph them but destroy them and that's pretty cool all right so let's see what's going on and you can see that in the overall campaign we're only about we're almost why can't you level up these? Are you are you maxed? Maybe that's what it is. For their secondary skills, that would be... But look at this. This is how long this crew's been together. I forget who it was. I think it was our navigator. Yeah. You can see his secondary at level 8. Oh, that would be because he's at level 4 because he didn't have to work on that. Never mind. I didn't think about it properly. But yeah, this is our most veteran. When we... When everyone perished in a uh, big plane crash. We only had one crew member survive. So, everybody else is new, including myself. So let's check the briefing. And by check the briefing, I mean, we gotta see what upgrades we got for this bad boy here. Yeah. And normally, my tail turret is the best. I don't want an ammo feed because it decreases damage per second. We've gotta get more, oh my gosh, did 20, look at these, there's 20 millimeter cannons, Mark three with ammo feed? Can you imagine this never having to worry about it uh, repairing itself? I mean, uh, rearming itself? What am I talking about? I'm tempted to upgrade our radars. Let's just see what the next mission is before we upgrade good old Bouncing Toast, which you guys are coming up with some really creative names. Ooh, this is cool. So the, the secret weapons, each one... See, Braunschweig Jet Fuel Dump. How did I do? There is an enemy ace in the area. It's medium risk and medium duration, however. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Even with the enemy ace. The Braunschweig jet fuel dump. The enemy... Oh, wait. The enemy... The... Hmm. Where's my British accent gone? The enemy is fighting back with more and more jet-powered fighters. Hitting their jet fuel dumps should slow them down. Be careful! Things go off with a bang. There we go. We found it at the end. Let's begin it. Let's just get it in it to win it. So we've got really good visibility, and let's go have everybody rearm their belts. We're getting reports that an enemy ace pilot, Franz and Fritz Blitzer. Okay, so Mr. Blutz, aka my buddy Blitz, might have some uh, triplets. He might be a triplet, and his twin brothers are trying to fight me. But since we're on a medium distance, I do need to be fuel conscious, especially. We're gonna go ahead and raise the gear. 
Liren, you're going to go to lean fuel. We'll go a little bit slower, but I always fast forward through that. Oh man, it looks like where we're gonna be going is uh, might be passing over Denmark or Belgium, the Netherlands, somewhere over there, the northern little bit of the Sud Reich. Look at that. Light them up, boys. Look at those tracer fires. It looks like a freaking laser beam there. Oh, we've got something going on with the... Son of a biscuit. Liren, you gotta... Oh, God. I hope we're gonna get to that in time. If we lose an engine right now, that could be incredibly detrimental. Oh, and he's gotta repair it. That's bad. Look at this. Oh my gosh! Cyan, uh, can you repair this, man? This is... What, what is... What is that? A radar? What is going on? This is so bad. This is the objective over here. Alright, Liren. You've gotta heal this man. I don't know how to heal. Who's got the healing abilities? Oh. Duh. Man, it's been- it's been a while. Okay, oh god. Okay, whatever this facility is- okay, it's their jet fuel facility. We barely got that off. I'm getting out of here, man. This is dangerous. It's time to return to base. We've lost crew members. Lutz, get back in your gun. How is everybody doing? Are we- are we returning? Auto tag, radio for recon, call Spitfires. Panic! 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 I think we've got to get to medium altitude. Just to minimize. Oh my god, this is just. How are we even alive right now? We're basically not. Liren, this engine's about to go up. Let's get over here, we gotta put it out. Uh, C top, get some more ammo. Liren, I'm, I'm, I'm like panicking. There we go, we've got one dousage left. Spitfires reporting in. Thank you, boys. Thank you so much. I wish you knew how crucial your contributions. Oh, son of a biscuit. Where are these guys? I've got missiles for you, friends. Oh, and they're in 335s? All right, um, find the missile. Get, get him. Get him. Oh, direct hit, but he's got armor. Okay, make happy, rearm, rearm. You don't have... Ooh, I guess you can fire the missile. This guy's cold. Cy cold Cyan is cold. How appropriate. Where's the other one? Time for us to double down. The last two birds for fun stone. Yavol. Oh, I think they're both in the same aircraft because it has, like, twin cockpits. Franz, Franz and Fritz Blitzer, where are you guys? Fighter shot down. What? Oh, we got him! Ha! Okay, good, good, good. Uh, let's go to low altitude. And look, we've got fighter escorts. So those guys weren't too tricky when you fire missiles and you've got fighter escorts with you. <laughs> I guess that should come as no surprise. It's so difficult. I almost wish you could, like, watch a review and, like, go back and watch the battles because when you're in it, it's you miss some moments. I miss a lot, specifically because I'm not really good at multitasking, guys. Returning to base. Good job, boys. All right, uh, who is in the front? You, sir, are gonna get focus fire. We don't need to be down here. So we just gotta return to the base at this point. So we have seen the Dorney 335, one of the most amazing and innovative aircraft that the Luftwaffe and und the Germans put out during World War II. Those Germans, I tell you what, their engineers, their scientists were some pretty imaginative folks. The fact that they came up with some of the stuff they did. There's a lot of other wonder aircraft that I'm curious to see if we're going to encounter in our adventures here. Including, like, the Germans worked on stealth aircraft. Like, some crazy stuff, guys. So anyway, we are heading back to base. This is good. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. They did an exceptional job at creating a game where... Oh my god, we just lost half of this. Look at this! Our missiles are gone because we fired them. We used them to take down Franz und Fritz Blitzer. Am I using that right? My, my German my German compatriots are is und 
the same as and? All right, there she is, home sweet home. Coffee, steak, and tea and crumpets, boys. The crew of the Bouncing Toast has made it back finally after a successful mission this time. We, uh, we, we flop a it on the first attempt because I got a little overly excited and panicky and just dropped my bombs instead of waiting to be over the target. I can't even really explain that except the fact that we are rusty indeed. And then we just went after the jet fuel, so we've done three missions, two successful, one unsuccessful. Let's see what the Braunschweig jet fuel dump. And, und Franz and Fritz Blitzer have been kaput! Dude, did you guys ever watch Saving Private Ryan and the guys over the megaphone? He's like, the Statue of Liberty is kaput! And it's like, no it ain't, you knuckle face, but you know, propaganda, man. Alright, enemy ace defeated, get that cash. So we didn't do the uh, optional photo. I didn't see one, I don't think, but I was also panicking at times. PANIC! How'd the crew do of the Bouncing Toast, boyos? I'm very pleased with what we got here. I think overall, we've had a pretty good time. Now that being said, I'm gonna be playing more of this because I think you guys are gonna want to see it. Let me know. Also make sure to check out Abandoned Ship because it's similar. Both are excellent games and I love them both and I want to keep playing them both. So everybody's returned and it looks like Dragast, Seatop, and Blitz all increased in skills and they unlocked something new. It's about time, boys, that you become a little more effective here. Now, I want to see, ooh, so more extinguishers. I love the extinguishers. What is this? Something new on the aircraft. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we, we unlocked a bunch of stuff. So we've done mission two. So mission one was the Dusseldorf. And we can do it again at any time we want. I like that. And then we did the Braunschweig jet fuel dump. We successfully did that one. And then the Stuttgart aircraft factories. So let's see. You are to distract the aircraft production at Stuttgart. Watch for enemy interceptors scrambling from nearby Leighton Barracks Airfield. What kind of aircraft do you think they got for us? I'm not even sure how many missions there are, but I'm looking forward to playing more. Baron's Brigade, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Let me know how we should upgrade our aircraft, our crew, and if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.